Morph Transition How-To Tutorial Using DaVinci Resolve. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Dwyer Creatives. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that Morph Transition we used in the beginning. Now, this is just gonna be a how-to tutorial guide on how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. It is Two Minute Tuesday, so I'm gonna do my very best to stick to that two minutes. I know that most of the time I blow right past it, but I'm really gonna to try to stick to it. So let's put two minutes on that clock and dive right in. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set your camera up on the tripod in the area that you want. I'm using my coffee bar because I like this nice little area right here. And you're just gonna throw other little items to help add into the scene. From here, you're gonna be recording and all you're gonna be doing is switching your product out for the next one in line. And you're just gonna keep doing that over and over and over until you get through all of your products. One little tip to have your item in the same spot every single time is to just put a little piece of painter's tape down. After you filmed everything, you wanna bring this over into DaVinci Resolve. Go ahead and put all your clips into a timeline. Now for me, I'm shooting for vertical format for social media. So I'm shooting in 1080 by 1920 vertical format. And I have my clips here. You wanna go ahead and make sure that they're all set to the length that you would like. Now, one little tip here is I like to have mine flow right back into each other sometimes. So my first clip here is going to be the same exact one at the end so that it has a seamless transition. Now, we're going to go over here to the edit page and simply we're going to come down here to smooth cut. Now, what we're going to do is add these transitions right between the two of these. And we're gonna do these for all the clips that we are using. Now, what I like to do to edit the length of them is I'll go back over here into the cut and click on these. Now, for these, I think they need to be a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna go through each one of these and make them a little bit shorter so that they're a little bit faster of a transition. We'll click out of that and go to the beginning. We'll hit play. You'll see that you have that morph effect, pretty seamless, and that's all you need to do from there. But one little thing here, if you have a problem adding this transition in here, I do have a fix for that. Some reason DaVinci Resolve does that, so the video is right here if you need to use that. Definitely go ahead and dive into it. That always gets me the two minutes blow by so quickly. But there you go, that's how you do this more transition. If you have any comments or questions about this process, let me know down below in the comment section. If you have any tutorials you would like me to go over, let me know that too. I'll wrap this up here. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.